going guys well if you're watching this video you probably know what it's going to be about um, we finally did it after months of searching we went and bought ourselves a bowler trailer there's the beast it's not very big which is exactly what we were looking for this is a 1979 bowler I believe they're all manufactured in Ontario and it's the 13 foot model. Super excited about it and of course it needs a lot of work. We'll do a little mental list of uh, all the things we want to do to it. First thing we have down here is um, frame. Uh, I do believe the frame was completely redone. Uh, I don't know if it was the original that was fixed or if it was completely uh, done from scratch um, about three, four years ago. Either way, it's, uh, it's exactly from the original size and specs. So that's one thing less to worry about when we're gonna fix it up because everything about the frame is in really good shape. Uh, the exterior, we're gonna definitely give it a nice scrub and uh, probably a good paint job. Uh, we haven't decided on the colors yet, but we'll do something funky, I'm sure. And uh, what we have here is the uh, rocker panel, uh, which is missing the hinges. Uh, you see the two hinges up here are broken so that's one of the first things I'll have to do before we start traveling with it for now it's just barely hanging on there the only thing that holds it there is this little pin down here so I have to fix that we'll give you a little tour of the inside you want to go in <laughs> With you inside, it gives it more... Uh... Lots of space! <laughs> yeah. I'm only five foot two now. <laughs> five foot two is lots of room in there. <laughs> but if you're six feet... <laughs> I'd say six feet. For a six foot tall man, this is about the max you can go. I'm literally just touching the top. All right. So what we have on this side is the couch. Um, obviously these cushions are probably <laughs> garbage. Um, I'm not even gonna bother replacing the, the material and keeping the foam inside. I'll, I'll probably replace the entire thing. Um, this used to be a couch slash bunk bed what you have back here is a uh, um, a wooden I say I don't know we'll call it a shelf that used to have hinges on both sides and this uh, this cushion well maybe not this particular cushion but there used to be a cushion here that would flip up used to be a cushion that would flip up and make a bunk bed for two kids. It's a good sized bunk bed for two kids, but uh, it really has no use for us because I don't think uh, our two boys are a little too big for, um, uh, for, those, for that size bunk bed anyways. So I think what we're going to do is turn this thing into a permanent couch and then we'll have Fiona sleep on this couch and she'll be really comfortable. And then on the other side, we have the kitchen table slash bed. 
for me and Maria. Um, we'll be nice and cozy here. A little small, but that's that's part of the fun, if you ask me. Storage on underneath the seats. There we go. Again, all these cushions are gonna have to be replaced. We have a little closet for storage. And we have the kitchen counter. Sink. For now, this is, uh, I believe it's a pump action um, faucet that lifts up and you can pump water. But I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna replace that. I'll swap it for an actual regular faucet. Uh, this is not the original fridge, but it's uh, it's an electric fridge that works. Uh, but I, I, I have no interest in using this. Um, I think I'm gonna replace it for either another newer electric fridge or maybe a, a three-way fridge uh, propane slash uh, electric. And for now, that's just a camping Coleman stove, stove top, because the original stove is missing. Um, but I'm gonna start looking and see if I can get a used one. So, to-do list. The entire walls and ceiling, we're gonna paint. What color? White. White. I'm thinking white for the walls and the ceiling. And then we're gonna get creative with the doors. These old doors need a little, uh, little bit of a facelift. I'll redo the floor as well. Uh, right now, there's nothing for floor. It's just a carpet and it goes, it's just direct um, fiberglass floor. Um, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a fun project as well uh, what else I think we're gonna be able to keep the windows um, if anybody knows how to or if it's even possible to refinish an old plexiglass window like this uh, probably the, the I'm guessing the cracks are permanent you can't really fix that but there might be a way to uh, polish the, um, the the glass and make it a little more clear because right now it's a little uh, cloudy I'm sure there's a way we can refinish that so if anybody knows a trick uh, or some good product to uh, to use for that looking for suggestions um, But overall the windows are in okay shape This yes. Oh, yes mm -hmm. um, So this because we don't have an air conditioner and it's really It's kind of too small for uh, to put one anyway, so we're not gonna bother with the air conditioning uh, But the roof vent is how you get the hot air released from the from the trailer, uh, which is okay, but on a really hot day, you really want to give it a kickstart. So I think what we're going to do is install a vent that has uh, uh, an electric fan attached to it. Um, so that's going to be one of the first upgrades. Oh, the tabletop! It might look like it's in good shape from the video, but. Uh, if you look back here, it's all rotted, uh, probably from just rain from coming in from the from the window when it was open. Um, so it's a little rotted back there, and the brackets might need a little bit of a refinish. Um, but it still works; like it's it can you can totally make a bed out of that right now and sleep on it. Maria wants a TV in here. <laughs> And um, I think <laughs> a TV, yeah, okay. Just for those rainy days. Rainy days when the baby is uh, is cranky and bored. Yeah, sure. Um, 
but then we're really glamping when we have a TV inside. So, um, easy fix. I think we're gonna put a bracket right here, maybe uh, with some um, plywood support inside, right there. And uh, with the swivel bracket and a small TV right here, uh, then we'll be able to watch TV from sitting right here or swivel it and watch TV from here. Yeah. So this is it. This is our new bowler camper. Again, it's a 1979. Older than tell? me. <laughs> wow, and it's younger than me. <laughs> How about that? Oh, and one thing I've learned about bowlers is this little ugly uh, support rail. Uh, we don't like it. It's very ugly, uh, but I've learned that it's a it's it's a very uh, unique thing about bowlers, and it's it's almost like a signature um, piece of hardware. Um, so I it, guess it's staying. <laughs> so I guess it's staying. Yeah, um, it's uh, I think it's meant to be for something a little practical, probably to hang um, uh, dish towels or something. Um, but the, the actual purpose of this is to give the ceiling some support from bottom to top. So there's actual uh, structural support using that. Like on the other side, um, you don't need one because you have the entire uh, closet going from top to bottom. What did you find there? What are you doing? Did you find a bug? All right, Nelson, come on. Get out. All right, thanks for getting the bug. Uh, so yeah, so there's, uh, it's not really something I want to get rid of because I'm 90% sure it is uh, like a support post or a support um, rail for the entire um, left side of the of the trailer so it's gonna stay there but I'm gonna make it pretty I it's uh, it's one promise I made to Maria um, These have to go. These are fine. yeah um, all the lights uh, are gonna have to go they're very um, they're not even retro um, a lot of the stuff like the hinges uh, I'd like to keep I'll probably paint them black or something but I'd like to keep them because they're very retro. It's it gives it a uh, it gives it some style. But the lights, even if they're old, they do nothing to uh, to the style or the retro feel of the of the trailer. Um, I think that's pretty much all. Um, if anybody knows what? this is for because I'm gonna get rid of this unless somebody can tell me if there's a, a purpose to this thing um, that's just I don't know I have no idea what that is if anybody knows let me know because uh, I'm gonna get rid of it it's just a little nail that sticks out there and I see no purpose for it uh, lots of storage underneath here and there I'm very excited about this project all right and next time you see us uh, we'll show you some some of the progress there I can stand properly <laughs> see you guys <laughs>